What's up? It's your resident Dew fanatic coming at you yet again with another Mountain Dew game fuel review. A couple days ago, we took a look at Tropical Smash, and it was a pretty good flavor. Go check out that video. Held back by sucralose a little bit, unfortunately, and perhaps that's a theme that's going to go again today as we take a look at Mountain Dew game fuel Arctic Burst. Take a good look at that label there, that beautiful deep shade of blue. This flavor, well, it doesn't really say anything about the flavor. It just says Arctic Burst, naturally and artificially flavored. But it's a Mountain Dew nonetheless, and we're going to give it a good shot. It's 170 calories per 20 ounce bottle. So like I said, unfortunately sucralose may play a factor in this one as well. I know it has it in it. That's how you get that uh, sweetness without so much high fructose corn syrup. So, let's give it a go here. Let's get a sense of the aroma. Definitely getting some uh, berry flavor sense to it. Um, and as always, whenever there's a blue Mountain Dew with me, my first review was Dark Berry, and there was a blue Game Fuel in 2009 as well. Every time that happens, I hope that it's Revolution, because I remember the Game Fuel from 2009 was very much like Revolution, and Darkberry had some similarities, kind of like Voltage, kind of like a mix of that and Revolution, but I don't know about this one. It doesn't smell quite right, so let's give it a shot. Well, it's not Revolution, unfortunately, and for those of you wondering, Revolution is my all-time favorite behind regular Mountain Dew, so like, of the different flavors that have come out, Revolution is the best, and they need to bring it back. It's been almost 10 years since it was originally released, and I'm dying to have some more of it. But, um, yeah, similarly to Revolution, it's got a light flavor to it, very understated, um, it has a slight bit more acidity to it than Revolution did, and as with the Tropical Smash and the Mango Game Fuel before it, the flavor just kind of stops short because of the sucralose. And it's it's not like nasty, but it it hits you and then it goes away very quickly. It's, it's like a fleeting high, if that's... I don't know if that's an apt comparison or not, but it's the first thing that came to mind. And when you take a second drink of it, it doesn't hit you as hard. So you probably, it's like, I don't want to make that comparison, but like, you need more of it. And, uh, yeah, no more drug references for today. But, yeah, it, it definitely hits more like a diet soda in that sense. It's not nasty by any means, but it's not, you know... It's held back by sucralose. It has so much potential as a flavor. And if anything, I think it might be a pure soda version of the Thin Ice Freeze Mountain Dew. That was a 7-Eleven uh, sheets, like, you know, just different gas stations. They would have that as a frozen drink, Slurpee, whatever. And I was going to review that back in 2013, I think, but it just went away before I ever uh, got a chance to do it on camera. So, if anything, it reminds me of that. And I think that was just, you know, sort of a mixed berry flavor. It had uh, maybe blueberry, pomegranate, and just different things of that nature. Uh, I read the description one time, and those are the sort of the things that I remember. But I could be horribly off base. So, as with the previous video, I want you to comment and tell me if you think, first of all, did you enjoy the flavor? Did you get a chance to try it? Make sure you do, because I'm sure the promotion's going to be ending within the next month or so. And also, tell me about the whole sucralose thing. Are you against it? Are you for it? Does it make the drink worse to you? Let me know what you think. And I'm not trying, I'll say this as a disclaimer, I am not trying to say Mountain Dew should make drinks that are uh, not aimed at a, uh, a health-conscious audience, because I'm definitely more health conscious now than I probably have ever been in my life. I have lost 50 to 60 pounds, well actually more than that, over the course of the past 
three years, and I'm probably in the best shape of my life right now. And I drink Mountain Dew as a treat. You know, I, I never really overindulged. About one a day is what I do, and that I know that, that sounds weird coming from a Dew fanatic, but it's the truth. I drink it as a treat. I really, really do enjoy it, but I don't do it in, you know, mass consumption. Sometimes there's a day where I'll have two. Sure, everyone has that. But I do think there should be choices out there like this, you know, that we need more diet sodas and things like that for people with diabetes, for instance, that can't have the regular amount of sugar. But I don't feel like every drink they come out with has to be like this. And almost every single new Mountain Dew they've had in the past year has been with sucralose in it. And it just doesn't need to be that way. There's a middle ground. Release some with, some without. I think that's what they should do. And I definitely want to hear what you good people have to say about that. So if you would, please let me know what you think. Subscribe because there is one more review of this year and that will be for the Holiday Brew Mountain Dew. Christmas is coming up and I'm sure you're excited for that. And if there's anything else, just let me know. Like this video, share it, you know, kind of get my name out there. And we'll see you next time. As always, do the do.